Welcome to the Dr. Phil Show. I'm Dr. Phil, and today we're dealing with housewives who are afraid that their husbands aren't quite the men they used to be. Let's bring out our first guest, disgruntled housewife, Michelle Leach. Hi, Michelle. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thanks, Dr. Phil. Have a seat. Now, Michelle, why don't you tell us about what's been bothering you about your husband? Well, I'm not really sure how to explain this, except that my husband, Gord, has really changed since we got married. Can't put my finger on the differences, I guess because they've been so gradual over the years. Be careful, Michelle. You can't put feathers on a dog and call it a chicken. And you have to realize that perfectionism is an imperfection. Oh, believe me, I know better than to ask for perfection from that man. I just wish he'd go back to the way he was before we got married. He just seemed to be more of a man. Well, that's good, Michelle, because the most that you'll ever get is what you ask for. Okay, but I'm kind of nervous. I don't know how he's going to react to all this talk about change. Well, sometimes you make the right decision, and sometimes you make the decision right. Let's bring out Gord and see how we can evoke some change in him. Gord, welcome to the show. Hi, Dr. Phil. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Now, Gord, it's time to get real. Michelle wants you to become the man you used to be. How do you feel? Listen, Doc, I didn't come here to talk about my feelings. No, you listen. This ain't my first rodeo, son. Gord, the difference between winners and losers is that winners do the things that losers don't want to do. Do you want to be a winner? You understand that, Dribble? Anger is nothing more than an outward expression of hurt, fear, and confusion. You can't change what you don't acknowledge. I haven't changed at all. I'm the exact man I was 12 years ago. Gord, you're just putting up a wall because... You're afraid to get hurt. Gordon, is it really painless behind the wall? Doesn't the loneliness hurt? Doesn't the fear hurt? It seems to me that if you stay behind the wall, you're guaranteed to get hurt. But if you come out from behind the wall, you only might get hurt. Come out from behind the wall, Gordon. I'm right here to support you. Don't you start with this crap, too? Hey, now, remember, Gord, that coaching your wife is like trying to baptize a cat. Gord, this is no dress rehearsal. Well, no dog ever peed on a moving car. So we're going to change our approach here a little bit. Gord, we have a guest who would like to speak with you. Gordy! Little Gordy! Where's my big brother? Hey, hey. Gordy! Hey. Michelle! Hey, Gordy! How are you doing? Good to see you. What the heck is that crap coming out of your mouth, Gordy? What? what happened to your Scottish accent? What do, you, what do you mean? I mean, how come these people can understand everything you're saying? Oh. Can't you hear yourself? You sound like some proper hoity toity fancy pants. And what the heck are you wearing? Where's your kilt? Well, it's cold. And the wind chill is. It's cold? Yeah. That's what God gave your leg hair for. You, you're not shaving your legs, are you, Gordy? Well, it's a lot nicer. No real man shaves his legs! Sure. I knew that broke out would have a bad influence on you. No, I don't want to hear another word from you and that ridiculous accent. Oh, look at me. I'm Canadian. I go camping in a trailer. What kind of Scottish man goes camping in a bloody trailer? You've gone soft, Gordy. Are you crying? Do you need a tissue, buttercup? Do you go pee sitting down there too? Are your ovaries bothering you? No wonder you're a disappointment to your wife. 
You're not a real Scottish man anymore. You're a wee ninny Canadian fairy. What did you call me? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you having trouble understanding my Scottish accent? I said you've become a wee ninny Canadian fairy. Gord, you need to listen to your body because your body is listening to you. Gord, what is your body saying? It's saying that I've changed. I'm not the man I used to be. That's good, Gord, but awareness without action is worthless. But how can I make such a drastic change? Get up each morning, look at yourself in the mirror, and see yourself not as a disappointment, but as the man you will become. I just don't know if I have it in me to keep it up, even if I do change back. You cannot be who and what you are unless you have a lifestyle that supports that definition of yourself. Gord, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. You have to create a new history. That's right, which is why I'm taking you back home to Scotland to get in touch with your roots. Can I bring my family? I don't care if you bring your girlfriend Brock so long as you get on that plane. Now, when was the last time you were home for a good home-cooked Scottish meal of curry? Change is all about choice. You can become a prisoner of bitterness and resentment, or you can just say to yourself, I'm going to change and be a happy person. Well, thanks for watching, and as always, if someone out there doesn't agree with me, then somewhere there is a village that's missing its idiot.